American Werewolf in London and stuff, he was basically, in my mind, the only one who could do, uh, who could do Harry. And I think through effects people that we knew, somebody basically said, this is uh, where Rick Baker lives, and I sort of took it upon myself just to knock on his door. I, I believe he actually came to my home, and he told me that he wanted to do this film about Bigfoot. He said, you know, I think you're the only guy in the world that can do this, you know. He says, I, you know, I'm familiar with your work, and I find that the stuff that you give your character is soul, you know. So I liked all the stuff that he was saying, <laughs> you know. I said, I like you, you know. <laughs> First, we made it mold Kevin's entire body, and that's the armature for our sculpture. So I, when I sculpted the head, I'm sculpting on a life cast because you want it to fit the person. Every wrinkle on Harry's face is carved into the clay and modeled. Every pore is carved into the clay and modeled. The same with his hands, same with his feet, same with his entire body. Then molds are made of these things, and cores are made to, so we can cast the foam rubber the thickness we want. Did before in Bigfoot and, and uh, Yetis and things, they always kind of talked about him having, the Yeti having kind of a pointed head, so I, I thought, well, if we give Harry a, a, a bit of a kind of a almost football-shaped pointed head, that will add a few inches there, and we could probably make feet for him that have lifts in him to make him, you know, so we can get him pretty big. It feels all right.